Hello, I'm Leanne Sparr, and in this section we will be finding part. The specific objectives we will cover in this section are know the three components of a percent problem, learn the basic percent formula, solve for part, recognize the terms associated with base, rate, and part, and calculate the sales tax. Let's begin by looking at the three components of a percent problem. The first component is the base, which is the whole or total, the starting point, or that to which something is being compared. The second component is the rate, which is a number followed by percent, sign, or the word percent. The third component is part, and that is the result of multiplying the base and the rate. The part is a part of the base, as sales tax is a part of the total sales, or as the number of sports cars is part of the total number of cars. Now let's take a look at how these three basic components are related. The basic percent formula says that part is equal to rate times base, or part is equal to base times rate. Now let's do some exercises in which we solve for part. We're asked to find 15% of 75 crates. We know that part is equal to rate times base. We're going to solve for part in which the rate is 15% or moving the decimal two places to the left will be 0.15 times, and the base is 75. So the part is 15 one hundredths times 75, which is 11 and 25 hundredths crates. So 15% of 75 crates is 11.25 crates. In a poll of 822 people, 25.5% said that they get their news from the newspaper. Find the number of people who said they get their news from the newspaper and round to the nearest whole number. We know that part is equal to rate times base. We know that we are trying to find the part and we know that the rate is 25.5%. Writing that as a decimal, that is 0.255, we're going to multiply that times the base, which is 822 people that are polled. So 0.255 times 822 is 209 and 61 one hundredths. But we were asked to round this to the nearest whole number, so that number would be 210 people. So 25.5% of 822 is 210 people. Now let's look at sales tax computation. As the owner of a copy and print shop, you must collect 6 and 1 half percent of the amount of each sale for sales tax. If sales for the month are $48,680, find the combined amount of sales and tax. The tax here will be the part. The part will be the rate times the base, which will be 6.5%, and 6 and 1 half percent will be 0 0.0. 65 times, and the base is the sales, $48,680. So the tax, which is the part, will be $3,164.20. So the combined amount of sales and tax Sales and tax 
will be $48,680 plus $3,164.20, which gives us a grand total of $51,000. $844.20. In this section, we have examined the three components of a percent problem, and we have looked at the basic percent formula, and we have found part. Now it's time for you to practice some of these exercises on your own.